Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Guten Morgen. It's good to have you here today. Um, I'm Alex Hummel. I'm the Director of News Services and Public Relations for UW Oshkosh. And uh, it's another great day here at the university. We're very proud to be here today with our partners, Wiesman Group and others. Um, a couple of quick things before we begin and, and uh, explain to you why we're all here. Um, just to let you know, at 11 o'clock this morning, uh, to our media partners, we're going to be out at uh, Allen Farm where you'll get a chance to see the new Titan 55 installed. And uh, it'll be a great opportunity to see a, a small scale farm biodigester uh, and learn more about the impact it's going to have, uh, not only for UW Oshkosh, but also for the state of Wisconsin. Coming up at 2.30 p.m. today, uh, Mr. Johnson will be giving a, a, a lecture in Sage Hall 12. Mm, 16, thank you, 1216. And um, that is open, and uh, the community and uh, media are welcome to join us there too uh, for that presentation. And of course, how could we forget tomorrow, UW Oshkosh mid year commencement, when our fine institution will be conferring degrees to nearly 1,100 students. And also, uh, a chancellor will be awarding Mr. Johnson the, uh, the uh, chancellor's medallion. So. A lot going on in the next couple of days. We're very excited about it, but first things first, we're glad to have you here today. It's my honor to introduce to you, uh, explain a little bit more about why we've gathered, our Chancellor Richard Wells. Where's the applause? <laughs> Good job, Alex. <clears throat> Good morning. We are here today to announce a tremendous gift to our institution to fund the Wiesman Endowed Chair in Sustainable Technology. This endowment to the UW Oshkosh Foundation will provide funding to support the College of Letters and Science, our Renewable Energy Institute, and the several new UW Oshkosh Sustainability Engineering Technology and Renewable Energy Initiatives. Now, I would like to point out that the Wiesman Endowed Chair in Sustainable Technology, the donors have asked us to keep the amount confidential, which is not unusual. But we can tell you it is significant and it will support the salary of an internationally accomplished scholar and professor forever. But more importantly than the, the amount is the, the types of things that we're going to be able to do uh, with this endowed chair in terms of uh, showing not only national but uh, international leadership in the area of sustainable technologies. Um, this relationship uh, has been going on I guess for about four and a half years uh, with the Wiesman company uh, and their leadership. Uh, so I guess you could say we've been kind of dating and courting for four and a half years and this is kind of like the merit ceremony at this particular point. Now we really have to learn how to do things well together. Um, so we're set today, what we want to do here uh, is to talk about the multifaceted ways that we've already had enormously good and high quality impact on our faculty and our students because of this, this particular partnership. So in a moment, my colleagues will come and briefly uh, explain all the different ways that the Wiesman partnership is impacting our university community. Uh, but before we do that, um, Dr. Martin Wiesman, you may recall, we awarded him an honorary doctorate in, uh, in the May commencements of, of last year. Uh, and his wife, Annette, um, weren't able to be here. Uh, but we want to make sure, because we're recording this and we're going to send this to them, uh, that we express our great appreciation for their willingness to demonstrate such great confidence in my colleagues and our university here at UW Oshkosh. Uh, we're very um, respectful in terms of of uh, really uh, feeling uh, special because this is a, an international corporation that is doing things right uh, and it, their values reflect our values and uh, Dr. Martin Wiesman and his wife Annette um, really are the ones that we need to take, thank deeply uh, for this great gift. So if you could uh, join me in a round of applause so we can put it on the record, I'd appreciate that. And a little, a little for, uh, footnote, Martin, you married well. <laughs> okay, now I'd like to introduce our Provost Lane Ernst. No, you don't need to clap for me. Thank you. Uh, 
Good morning. I'd like to speak briefly about some of the details surrounding the uh, new position. The professor selected to hold the Wiesman Endowed Chair will teach courses in the envi Environmental Engineering Technology Program and or related programs on campus, create opportunities for UW Oshkosh to work with local and global partners on engineering technology and renewable energy development and design, lead a vigorous and externally funded research program, and finally serve as a liaison to the Wiesman Group and our German academic partners. Bridging the traditional contradiction between technical building equipment and creative energy related solutions, the goal of the Wiesman Chair will be to combine theory and design with practice and technology in order to develop long-term sustainable solutions. The professor holding the position will also anchor the newly developed Bachelor of Science degree in, env en <laughs> excuse me, in environmental engineering technology at UW Oshkosh and UW Green Bay, thus aiding our efforts to close the skills gap in northeastern Wisconsin. The collaboration represented by the Wiesman Endowed Chair will offer unparalleled opportunities for scientific and technological research, teaching, and learning among UW Oshkosh faculty, staff, and students, and expand the international scope of our educational mission by facilitating wide-range collaboration and innovation in the areas of sustainable technologies and renewable energies. Now I'd like to introduce Dr. John Coker, Dean of the College of Letters and Science, who will uh, talk about the impact of the new Wiesman Chair on his college. So thank you very much. Thank you, Provost Ernst. Uh, I would just like to start by um, adding my thanks to, uh, to the Wiesman Group. I've been extremely proud to be part of this uh, partnership for um, over three years now, which started as a facility installation and has taken it to the next level with a, uh, an academic component to this partnership where two institutions separated by the Atlantic Ocean found some common values and some common ground and were able to promote both of our missions. So we intend to uh, have this faculty member begin in the fall of 2013. We will start almost immediately a, a faculty-led search on our campus, a nationwide, international-wide search. So this person will be selected by um, faculty and administra administrators on, on our campus. Um, we intend that this person will take a leadership role on our campus to help us become um, a leader among higher education institutions uh, and build on our current work and research and teaching around renewable energies and biogas facilities and production. Um, this person will strengthen the current work being done in our environmental uh, resource and innovation center on campus. As Provost Ernst said, we'll take a leadership role in our newly developed engineering technology programs and help to prepare the next generation of employees around renewable energy facilities and biogas production. Um, in addition to uh, the professorship, I'm very proud to be part of um, an internship program that has been set up with the, with the Wisman Group. We will send five to six students per year um, for internships to work as part of their companies, both in biogas uh, production as well as um, in business related fields. And uh, all of our students and faculty will have a chance to, uh, to participate in shorter run seminars that, that we're currently arranging for 20 to 30 students to be able to go to uh, the Wisman Group and attend a week long um, seminar on sustainability from a global perspective. So very happy to be part of this project and look forward to many good things to come with our, with our partnership. Um, I'd like now to, uh, to introduce uh, Dean Bill Tallon, who is the Dean of the College of Business on campus. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Coker. Uh, this is an exciting day, and uh, I also on behalf of my college, I want to give great thanks to the investment group for the opportunities they've given us. Uh, we're sort of a, a late comer in all this uh, after uh, Dean Coker and uh, all the uh, work that he's done over the years, and but we're really appreciative of being a part of this partnership. Really, this is a new era of collaboration between two great institutions. 
um, when you think of our missions are in line. Um, but the idea is, is that we're really partnering in a true sense of the word. Uh, and I made some comments to uh, Professor Simmons this morning that uh, our colleges are growing together. At the same time, we're growing, growing together with a, with a wonderful company like the Visman Group. And uh, John has mentioned the idea that we're going to have uh, student interns from both colleges going over there, working in various departments. We're going to have these one-week student seminars from both colleges, working with German students over there on projects, dealing with projects of importance to the Visman Group. So there's one thing to talk about international business and teaching international business in, in a classroom in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I think it's totally different when we teach international business really on in a foreign country, dealing with foreign problems, dealing with foreign uh, colleagues. I, I think it really ups the whole standard of what we expect and I think it's going to make our college and the whole university so much stronger. And another thing we're very excited about is the partnership we're uh, beginning with executive education. Uh, plans are being made to have the management group uh, coming over in two different uh, times. One is the middle management, high potentials. They'll be coming over for a four-week program, hopefully this summer, uh, dealing with our faculty on issues. And also there will be a, a two-week seminar of the top management of the Visman Group coming over as well. And we're very excited about this because our initial plans are to link them up with the CEOs of the major organizations in the New North. So it's an exciting time and I think it, it, it makes me feel really good that we'll become a part of a relationship that is global, that will give our students something very vital and that they'll need in the future. So thank you again very much. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce Tom Sunleitner, Vice Chancellor for Administrative Services. Huh? Thank you, Bill. Uh, I, I have been uh, given the honor of introducing our guests this morning, but before I do that, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit about how this partnership came about. Chancellor talked about four and a half years. And in fact, the, uh, the very first uh, um, discussion happened in June of uh, 2008 here in this building with uh, Mr. Nadim Afghan, who is president of the Biofirm Group, who is a, a uh, subsidiary of the Visman Corp. And uh, so he, uh, he and I uh, got together and started talking about uh, digesters. And uh, we were interested in taking our food waste from this building and creating energy and he pre presented a much more holistic approach to that which says let, let's try a dry fermentation anaerobic digester so everybody said well what the heck is that <laughs> and so we've been uh, trying to explain that for many years but we actually have one working on the other side of the river and uh, it, it's part of our mission here at UW Oshkosh to provide the living learning laboratory of renewable energy infrastructure for our students our campus community and the community uh, of Hull here in Oshkosh and this is part of it and so we're trying to provide many different experiences many uh, ways to look at renewable energy the Visman Corp has given us the opportunity to do that uh, and uh, you can see what's happened in that relationship it's uh, it's grown into an academic uh, relationship which is what we want want to happen a uh, very strong um, uh, commitment, but this couldn't happen without uh, Mr. Janssen's commitment to this uh, endeavor, and uh, he has supported the Biofirm Group um, continuously uh, as we've gone through this uh, this journey. And so uh, I'm very proud to be a part of that uh, structure, and, uh, and we can see that the fruits of that occurring uh, very impressive. And with that, I'd like to uh, to introduce. Uh, uh, Mr. Joachim Janssen and his colleague Marcus Fool, if they would come up and talk a little bit about uh, how they see this occurring. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Chancellor Wells and uh, Vice Chancellor Sonnleitner explained uh, about the history uh, of the long running relationship between this university and the Fisman Group. Um, I only can underline what they said um, about the value and the quality of this relationship. 
But uh, let me explain um, what are the main reasons for this cooperation. It began, uh, as uh, Tom Sonnleitner said, with a normal business uh, project in 2008. Uh, at that time, Nadim Afghan um, was the first MD of our subsidiary in the US. We founded this company only in 2008. And um, the company is based in Madison. So right from the beginning on, we had contact to, to the University of Wisconsin. Later, some years later, I think, we got uh, the first contract for that Biodigester one, which is on the campus here. And um, uh, you said it already, it's the first uh, dry fermentation biodigester in the Americas at all. Um, but all of that would maybe lead to a good relationship between, um, let's say a business relationship between a university or a customer and, um, and us. But it became much more than that. Dr. Martin Fissmann and the Fissmann Group, um, they are very much committed to the thoughts of sustainability. We are a 100% owned uh, family, a family owned company, and sustainability is an anchor of our philosophy. As a family owned business, you only can survive uh, if you are uh, sustainable, because a family owned company has limited resources because there's no resource from outside. So you have to be very careful with what you are doing and you only could spend the money which you earned before and that is also a kind of sustainability. In our headquarter in Allendorf, that's uh, in the middle of Germany, um, we initiated a project some years ago, already uh, now eight years ago, for sustainability and we call this project Efficiency Plus. We showed with that project um, that it is possible to reduce CO2 emissions dramatically. Only to give you an idea, the energy uh, we use in that, in that head office with all the plants uh, around is roughly 3,000 single houses. So a lot of people could use that energy which we use in the plant. And we did this by two things. First is efficiency, that's maybe very much important. And the second one is substitution, so we came from fossils to biomass and to biogas. And with this project we reached, um, in, in the last eight years up to now, we reached the targets of the German government regarding um, the future of, of climate discussion for 2050. So the, the target of uh, our German government is to reduce the CO2 emission by 2050 by 80%. And we did that by now. And the reduction of fossils by more than 50%. That's the target of the government. And we did it by two thirds, so 66%. And we did it with technology, which you can buy today. And you don't have to wait for another 50 years or 40 years, but you can do it today. And that is what we showed with our project in Allendorf. Um, when we discussed uh, all this with Vice Chancellor Sonnleitner and later also um, with the Chancellor Wells, it became very clear to us that um, you here at the University of Wisconsin at Oshkosh have the same ideas and the same vision we have in our company. So our first business contact became a comprehensive relationship. One of our strategic targets is to enlarge the international skills of our management. Therefore, we decided to cooperate with uh, UW Oshkosh as our international university partner. We have 10,000 people in our group, only to give you an idea. Um, to further our partnership with our international university partner, we have created the endowment for sustainable technology to fully support our mutual commitment that we share with our partner for long-term sustainability and environmental stewardship within our communities. Thank you very much. And also a warm welcome from my side. Good morning. I want to give you a short picture of our future collaboration with UW Oshkosh. Fisman is committed to international business, that's totally clear. 
but we are not only interested in getting better, a better understanding of global markets and business. Our core as a family-owned company is also to get a better understanding of how we could run our business and also our products with less impact to the environment. And as Bill Talent mentioned, we are starting our future collaboration with a new joint program. And again, some points to this, we want to bring internships for students from Oshkosh at Alnov at our headquarters and at our subsidiaries. And also we are starting a one-week program in Germany with students from UW Oshkosh on the one hand and German students who work for FISMAN. And we want, the goal is that they work on topics about sustainability together and maybe get new insights from both sides of the ocean. And one very important part of this is the high potential and top management program. And we want to bring in international skills and new culture to our company. We want to discuss about sustainable in, in general, and also we want to improve management skills. To sum it up, we want to leave this place better than we found it, and we hope UW Oshkosh could help us with that. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Art Rathjen, and I have the privilege of serving as president of the foundation. On behalf of our foundation, our board of directors, and our university, I also, I also want to add my thanks to the Visman Corporation for their commitment to our sustainability program and their pledge of support to our university. This gift, the first of its kind, in the form of an endowed chair, will not only energize our students and faculty, but it will also serve as an example for possibly our other friends and partners to emulate. As many of you know in the room, there are hundreds of schools out there in the United States, but only a handful of them truly have endowed chairs which support their programs. This gift will enhance and sustain our high quality educational programs for our students, our faculty, and the residents of Northeast Wisconsin. So friends, this is a very good day. It's a great day for our university, our Visman partners, and the residents of Wisconsin. And without further ado, I'd like to ask Chancellor Wells and Mr. Janssen to sign our agreement. This is the fun part. Okay, now uh, we want to open it up for any particular questions uh, about uh, this particular um, uh, program, the endowed chair, and all the other initiatives that you've heard uh, uh, um, shared by my colleagues. So, anybody have any questions at this point? We were that thorough? Yeah, yeah, you got you, you the press. You always get your, you know. We understand. It's just a lot, you know. It, it's our faculty that educated you guys. You know, I mean. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming. We really appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend. <laughs>